Yeah, someone asked about, is it more about writing lyrics or does it start with chords or composition? And it really looks different, I think. Yeah. I think if you guys are just starting out as writers, um, it can take a while to figure out what you're good at. But that's, I, I would say, an important part yeah. as a songwriter because yeah. I think for a long time, you know, I didn't realize that we're good at melody. Yeah. Um, and I remember Brian one day being like, you're, you're like melody driven. That's what you're good at. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, yeah. I didn't know that. So trying to figure that out, like, are you good at lyrics? Are you good at melody? Maybe you're good at chord progressions yeah. is super helpful going into co-writes because then you know your strength. And if you're like us, we just work better with um, people who are good at lyrics because we have a ton of melodies. Yeah. So I think it really looks different depending on your strengths and yeah. depending on who you're paired with. Mm -hmm. It does, it can start you know, just playing chords, it can start with lyrics. It's all, all of the above. Yeah. 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 I think, um, another practical thing with songwriting is like in those co-writes, like we use Google docs or notes, yeah. but something where you're all looking at the same piece of paper. Um, because I remember I used to feel so stuck with lyrics because I would literally write it by hand <laughs> and it would only be the word that I thought would make it in the final song. And so I'd just be staring at a blank sheet of paper and then we started using Google Docs where it's almost like just stream of thought, like every idea I have, I'm writing down. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes, for me at least, it becomes more of a puzzle that you're putting together yeah. instead of like, all right, what's the next word? I only have three words. I need five words for this verse. And it has to be perfect. Yeah. So I think that helps. And it's also like we say all the time, like dare to be dumb. Like when you're writing down some lyrics mm -hmm. on a Google Doc and everyone can see it, you're thinking like, this is the dumbest idea ever. But more times than not, someone's going to see that and be like, oh, that reminds me of this thing. And then it's, again, it's connecting the dots to a lot of random ideas. Mm -hmm. And so that was uh, when we wrote Faithful to the End, that that was kind of a change in that for us of we needed new verses and I hated writing verses then. And so instead of like one word at a time, we just wrote <laughs> like, you know, like every song we have now, mm -hmm. we'll have at least four or five pages of lyrics and it's not all, you know, it's not all good ideas, but it's just content. It's like mm -hmm. getting out what's inside and kind yeah. of priming the pump to get you going. Yeah. And so I, I think it's so inspirational when you can see Hannah and someone else writing different ideas, and then you can kind of just build. And it's, mm -hmm. I think the momentum that's created in co-writing is it's almost addicting when you hit that flow and you're all mm -hmm. tracking with each other and you're, and you're building momentum. It's just so much fun. Yeah. Way more fun than sitting in a room by yourself yeah. with a sheet of paper. I think you just have to get over the vulnerability yeah. part uh, in the beginning. Yeah. I, I remember, I mean, I, for the longest time, even hated showing ideas to Paul because it's vulnerable yeah. and you care, especially if you're writing with someone who you care what they think. Like right. I care what he thinks more than anyone. So it was so like, this is really scary. Yeah. But if you can kind of, I think it took us a while to change our mindset to um, like, maybe it's scary, but I'm going to do it anyways. And you keep going until yeah. it feels more comfortable of like, okay, I'm not handing over my baby to you. Like, this right. is just an idea that I, right. I voice memoed and just wondering if it could be something and yeah. just, just being very open handed yeah. has served us well. I yeah. think, I feel like a lot of our songs wouldn't have gone anywhere if no we had not been open-handed yeah. and we were like, nope, this is, this is what I want to do. I yeah. don't want to change anything. I, I don't think any of our songs would be on any albums because, yeah. because of the changes. Yeah. And someone asked when, when do you know a song is finished? And that's a great question. Yeah. I feel like we lead our songs a yeah. lot Yeah. Um, to get a gauge on, you know, does this work? Yeah in a corporate worship setting is yeah. this more of like a devotional song right um so if you can leading songs in church yeah. um which is also encouragement for you guys like to have a pulse on what god is doing in your own church and mm -hmm. <clears throat> like the songs that move me are the ones that pe have come out of people's experience and that they have a pulse on like god, this is what god is doing in their church not necessarily you know, Bethel or whatever movements right. are going on. It's, right. you can always tell, um, like the purity of a song yeah. and 
yeah so i would encourage just that purity of like being yeah. honest as yeah. well of not yeah. not just trying like we want to work hard but also pair that with the honesty yeah. too of like this is what we're going through this is what we feel like god is doing yeah um so it's a it's a balance of like working yeah. digging right but also like keeping that purity yeah. intact as well